Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's been a little bit of a hot minute. I took a week off from filming and editing and okay, uh, I'm running out of excuses. I got really lazy and I had a long week. I went back to work and summer break is over and I'm so, so cry if you need to, but I can't stay to watch you. That's the wrong thing. Back to life, back to reality. Back to the old grind, whatever it is. Um, yeah. Okay, so today we are going to be talking about makeup brushes. And that's super important, especially if you want to apply makeup. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I'm going to share with you my top, like, favorite makeup brushes with you. And please do not take this as an ad or, or a sponsor from Morphe or anything like that because I am not sponsored by Morphe brushes at all. I just really love their brushes, okay? So I'm going to share with you my favorite brushes just in general. Most of it is Morphe, but I do have some Wet n Wild in here, an e.l.f. brush, and yeah, so let's get started. Okay, there are two brushes that I really like for applying um, just an overall foundation, especially if you're going to go very light in your foundation. If you're going to go a little bit more full coverage like I always do, then you really, really want to use a beauty blender or some sort of beauty sponge. Real Techniques has a sponge that's excellent for that, and that's what I use. I prefer to use a sponge for anything that has to do with foundation, but if you are looking for a brush, there are two brushes that I really, really love. The first one is a flat top brush. It's exactly what it is. It's flat top. Ignore mine. Mine's dirty. Um, it's a flat top brush and it's synthetic and it's from Wet n Wild. You can find this seriously at Walgreens for $2. Like you can't beat it. And it's a super dense brush meaning that there's a lot of bristles. So it's nice and packed with bristles but it's super soft with application and it's very very nice. The next one is a little bit more expensive. This is the Real Techniques stippling brush and I know that usually stippling brushes are not mainly used for foundation but like I said if you're going in with very light coverage this will really take care of those areas. I use this brush especially when I'm going to go in with a concealer first on my face and then over top I use a beauty sponge with my foundation. This blends in like a dream and for being so affordable um, yes it's more expensive than the wet and wild brush but for being still on an affordable end it's very very nice for blending out light foundation okay so there are two brushes that I use for powders this brush is by Morphe and it is the M438 I really love this brush for setting my under eye concealer. Usually I set my under eye with of course a beauty sponge but when I need to just tap it out or add a little bit more because I got some oily spots here so whenever I need to add just a little bit more this is the perfect brush. It's nice and tapered. It comes to a point and it fits right here underneath the eye perfectly. For an all over just powder brush I know that most powder brushes are just fatter and bigger, um, but this one I like because it's a little bit more precise and that's actually the reason why I love it so much is because it's not that big and this is the Morphe E3 and um, you just put it in the powder and then you just set it all over your face like this. Um, I do like bigger powder brushes especially if you want to cover a better surface area on your face, but I like to be very precise and go in every little uh, you know every little area on my face and this is perfect because it's big it's fluffy it's just really nice and packed with bristles but it's not too over the top okay for bronzer I another brush by Morphe I'm sorry this is not a Morphe video this is not an ad for Morphe I promise you I just really love their brushes so this is the uh, Morphe M527 this is a really really nice bronzer brush like an all-over bronze not so much for car contouring because I mean look at 
look at the size of this thing um, and but it's just perfect for getting all of those areas hitting the points of your face it's nice for an all-over bronze the only thing I hate about this brush though I love it but I hate it it's like a love-hate relationship with this brush this sheds like nobody's business this sheds real bad like just pulling you know I don't, I'm not even pulling it but sometimes it just comes out and I'll be putting on my bronzer and the next thing you know I have like just bristles everywhere so yeah that's like the only thing I do not like about this brush at all um, is the fact that it sheds but it applies my bronzer like nothing else it applies my bronzer so beautifully it's just seamless it doesn't look patchy or anything like that like this brush really does the job so I just live and deal with the fact that it sheds so much because the results that I get in my bronzer I've never gotten with any other brush for blush I love using this angled brush here and this is also um, from Morphe and it's the E4 um, I just I love the angle on this because you can really get it right up here so um, I really love that for this reason the blush you can hit it at the top high points of your cheeks and bring it upwards to create a more like slimming effect on your face instead of just keeping it here on your um, cheekbones I just drag it up here and create that elongated face so this is perfect for that you might want to you can also use this like some people want to contour with it um, you can use it for whatever you want I'm just saying what I use it for um, that's just my preference I like to use it as a blush brush try saying that five times fast blush brush 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 but I give up so cry if you need to but I can't stay to watch you that's the wrong thing for highlight I absolutely love this little guy right here this is the morphe m501 this is so tiny and beautiful and it's like perfect for that highlight I'm telling you this is the only brush I use for highlighting I don't use anything else because I feel this is like so precise especially when you want to get that high points of your cheekbones oh it's just it's an amazing brush for this okay so something not from morphe for once um, I do have a brush here from elf and this is a very precise like flat top brush and this is perfect for baking right underneath here this is perfect for um, really sharpening that contour and you just dip it in all of your powder and just like right there and it's excellent for baking that's what I use it for because you can really carve out the contour you can really get underneath the eyes right here and let your powder sit there and bake Moving on to eye brushes there are several eye brushes that I love absolutely love so I'm gonna start with the morphe 441 you've seen me use this in my videos this is just a very beautiful uh, fluffy natural hair brush this is perfect for crease shades and for blending out those transition shades it's the best blending brush I've ever ever used I constantly go back with it it's really dirty so I need to clean it um, and I just and I did this look this morning which is like a nice red just smoked out eye look so I went constantly back and forth with this one here but this is an amazing amazing brush uh, really to for those transition shades this brush right here is similar to the um, Morphe 441 this one's this one's the M443 um, let me get a comparison for you guys so this is the M443 this is the 441 as you can see this one is smaller um, it's more packed in the bristles as opposed to this one's like just fluffier and more just out uh, perfect for blending this one's a little bit more precise I like this for really deep inside my crease and for the outer corner not just for blending out the outer corner either but I can pack in the shades right here 
in the crease and that's perfect for it whereas the M441 is really good for blending and smoking everything out and making sure there are no harsh lines while this one is great for packing in color. I also love the E22. This just has another nice uh, brush with packed in bristles and again I love to use this to pack in the shades uh, because it's a little bit more this is like fluffier than uh, the M4 the M433 uh, you can also use this for blending out as well you don't need all of these eye brushes I have them because they're my favorites but if you get like really good just staple brushes that you can use constantly and use for different looks on a daily basis then you know that's fine you don't have to get every single brush I just have all, all different varieties of them because I like to use them and see you know how they function. This brush here is the M321 from Morphe. It's a very very small brush right here. This is good to pack on color in the outer corner and blend it out. That's personally what I use it for. You can also use it to smoke out like the lower lash line, but I have a different brush for that. So I use this one mainly to pack in the shades in the outer corner. The brush that I use to blend out the bottom lash line right here is the E18. Yeah, is it the E18? Yes, it's the E18, and this one's small, a little bit fluffier than the pencil brush, and I really like that for smoking out the lash line. I feel like uh, because it has more bristles and they're not as tightly packed in, it's a little bit more um, on the fluffy side here, it's nice and soft. You can really get that nice, smoky lower lash line. This brush is my one of my absolute favorites. This is the M432. This is a flat brush and I love this for packing in color right here in the lower lash line especially to set my eyeliner and yes I know it sounds weird to set eyeliner but that is so helpful um, you get a nice dark shade just to match your eyeliner so if you have black eyeliner I tell you get a nice dark shade and I set it right in here and then smoke it out and blend it with the E18 so this brush is an amazing brush I love it so so much okay something not for Morphe again um, this is not an ad for Morphe I have here a flat eyeshadow brush from Wet n Wild as you can see it is nice and flat here um, again this is like $2 this is great for packing on color on your lid and it's super cheap super affordable like a couple dollars and you can even grab a few of these so you can use for different shades I also love this fluffy eyeshadow brush here. So you can see there's a clear difference between the flat eyeshadow brush and the fluffy eyeshadow brush. This one's very packed in and flat. This one's a little bit more loose and um, and fluffier. I can't use any other words to describe it except for just fluffier. It, it That's exactly what it is. The bristles come out more. So I love this for just blending out any areas I don't usually put color on this or any sort of shade I just like to blend everything out blend out those harsh lines using this right here alright I'm hoping that wasn't too long for you guys those are just a little you know a little bit of my favorite brushes for face and eye brushes if you have any questions leave them down below please do not forget to like and subscribe share this video give it a thumbs up don't you know subscribe definitely do that and leave me comments suggestions videos that you want me to um, do for you guys and film I would love to be able to to get your input on that and that's all for today I will see you guys very soon I'll get my next video up on Sunday for you guys so don't miss it and I I'll see you guys later bye